This video will focus on logging in, creating, and publishing content on the Cisco Digital Media System. To log in, go to the URL provided by your signage administrator. Once you're logged in, you'll be presented with a selection screen. Select Digital Signs. All of the options will be under this menu. From here, you'll see the dashboard, media library, digital signage, and proof of play, as well as a list of all the assets available to you. Click Media Library to upload new images, videos, or sounds. Once here, click Media to see all the options available to the system now, or click Add an Asset to bring something else new into the system. Click Local File and Browse, and add a new image, sound, or video. In our case, we're adding an image, a PNG. Click Save. Now your image should show up in the list. The next tab, Digital Signage, lets us create playlists and presentations. A playlist will play a selection of items from the media library one at a time, while a presentation will be a static display, but could contain video, text, and or a ticker, or any combination. To create a playlist, click Create Playlist at the bottom of the screen. Name your playlist, and then add assets from the media library. Be sure to set a time you would like each asset to play. And to set the resolution to 1920 by 1080, which is the size of all the signage displays on campus. And then click Save. Now your playlist is available to RDs to upload. If you'd like to create a presentation, click Start Designer 2.0. This is a WYSIWYG editor that will allow you to bring together items from the media library to create a new display. You can either start with a blank presentation or a template. We'll start with a template here. The first thing to do is to verify to set your canvas size to 1920 by 1080. From there, you can use your mouse to expand or contract the size of any object on the screen or use the menu bar to select items from your media library. The blue arrows let you move items, while the white arrows let you expand or contract the size. Double-clicking on any text will allow you to edit. Once you're done making changes, click File and Save As, and name your presentation. This will also make it available for an RD to schedule. Then click File and Exit to complete the process. If you are an RD, you'll have the Schedules tab available as well. Clicking this tab, and then Play in Future, will give you access to the schedule for the entire campus. Sometimes this can take a few moments to load. Using this menu, you can select Add an event either at the bottom or by right-clicking in the column next to your location, in our case, MCT. Then select Digital Signage as your task and pick either a presentation or playlist. Here you can see the two that we've already created. Then select the date and times you would like it to play and whether or not you'd like it to repeat daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. Once that's complete, click Save. To verify, click Save All and Publish All to upload that information to all of the TVs on the campus. If you have any questions, please locate your systems administrator and they'll assist you.